Welcome to the explainer. All right, let's talk AI. For .NET developers, it's not some futuristic buzzword anymore, right? It's your new toolkit, like right now. So today, we're going to break down the essential AI assistants that are pretty much going to define how you code in 2025 and beyond. Let's kick things off with a number, just one number that really tells the whole story, 76%. And, you know, this isn't just some random statistic. It's a real snapshot of the people you work with every day, and maybe even your competition. Yep, 76%. That's how many of your peers are already on board, using or planning to use AI. So you see, the question isn't if you should be using AI anymore. The real question is, which tools are going to make you a better, faster, smarter .NET developer? That's what we're here to figure out. Let's dive in. Okay, first up in your new AI toolkit, the on-demand chat assistants. These are basically the AI you can have a full-on conversation with, getting help anytime you get stuck. I mean, seriously, think of it like having an expert pair programmer sitting right next to you, but they're available 24-7 and they never need a coffee break. Their whole job is to answer your questions, make sense of really complex code, and spit out little snippets for you right when you hit a roadblock. And of course, we've got to start with the big one, ChatGPT. It's the ultimate all-arounder, right? Super versatile, you can throw anything at it. A quick C-sharp syntax question, or maybe a deep dive into how some obscure ASP.NET library works. But here's the key thing to remember. It's an assistant, a powerful one for sure, but you are still the lead developer. You're the architect. You've always got to review the code it gives you. Okay, now Claude AI, this one's really interesting. Its superpower is this huge context window. What does that mean for you? It means you can literally copy paste a massive tangled up C-sharp file or a super long cryptic error log and just ask it what's going on. I mean, for digging through old legacy code, this is an absolute game changer. No joke. All right, what if you're worried about cost or maybe more importantly about privacy? Well, that's where DeepSeek comes in. It's free. It's open source, and it's built specifically for programming. But the killer feature? You can run it locally, right on your own computer. That means your proprietary code never, ever leaves your machine. That's a huge deal for a lot of teams. So look, those chat assistants are awesome. But let's be real, constantly switching windows and copy-pasting stuff, it totally breaks your focus, your flow state. The real magic, the big productivity jump, happens when the AI is right there with you inside your code editor. Yeah, this is it. This is where things get really good. Instead of that context switching nightmare, the AI becomes like a true coding partner. It's suggesting code in real time as you're typing, keeping you locked into that creative zone. So who's the king of this space? Right now, it's GitHub Copilot. It's so smart. It looks at your comments, it looks at the code you've already written, and it figures out what you're trying to do next. For example, you can just type a comment, something like slash slash validate email format, and bam, Copilot will generate the whole C-sharp method for you. It's just a ridiculous time saver. Now, if you're a JetBrains fan, if you live in Rider or use ReSharper, you're in luck. They've baked AI right into their tools. And we're not just talking about smarter code completion. This thing can generate your unit tests, it can write your documentation, and get this, it can even explain an exception right there in the debugger, just when you need it most. Then you've got the real specialists. You have Visual Studio's IntelliCode, which is cool because they puts a little star next to the most likely suggestion from IntelliSense, just cutting through the noise. And then there's Tab9, which is another powerhouse for code completion. And just like DeepSeek, it has a mode that runs 100% locally. Again, perfect for any company where keeping code private is a top priority. Oh, and you definitely can't forget Amazon Code Whisper. First off, it's free for individual devs, which is awesome. Plus, it has a built-in security scanner that flags potential problems as you code. And as you'd probably guess, if your .NET app is built on AWS, this tool is specifically tuned to give you the best suggestions for that ecosystem. Okay, wow. That's a lot of tools, right? ChatGPT, Claude, Copilot, JetBrains AI. So how in the world are you supposed to pick the right one for you or your team? Don't worry, let's break it down into a simple choice. This table really lays it out perfectly. It comes down to this. 
chat assistants like ChatGPT and Claude are your go-to for research, for asking deep questions, for debugging tricky problems. But your IDE assistants like Copilot, they're all about speed and flow, generating code right as you type. So it's not about which one is best overall, it's about which part of your daily grind you want to make easier. So here's a super simple four-step way to think about it. Step one, what's your tech stack? Are you doing general.net or are you all in on AWS? Step two, what's your biggest headache? Is it writing the same boring boiler code over and over? Or is it trying to understand some ancient, confusing function? Step three, weigh the cost versus your company's rules on privacy. And finally, step four, just pick one and try it out. Start small, experiment. That's the only way you're going to know for sure what really works for you. Okay, so this all leads us to the, well, the elephant in the room. The big question that I know is on every developer's mind right now. What does all of this mean for our future, for our careers? Let's just tackle it head on. Will AI replace .NET developers? I mean, when you see a tool write a whole function by itself, you have to wonder, right? Is the human developer on the way out? The answer, loud and clear, is no, absolutely not. The research and experts all agree on this. These tools are assistants. They are helpers. They can write a function, sure, but they have zero understanding of the bigger picture. You still need a human. You still need you to plan the architecture, to make the tough decisions, and to make sure the whole system actually works together correctly. So your role isn't going away. It's just shifting. It's getting an upgrade. The AI is taking over the boring, repetitive parts of the job, and that frees you up to focus on the stuff that's actually interesting, the stuff that only humans can do. We're talking about creative problem solving, high-level system design, and making those critical architectural choices. Look, when you embrace these tools, you're not just staying relevant. You're basically getting a superpower. So the real question isn't, will AI take my job? The real question is, now that AI is handling all the grunt work, what incredible, innovative thing are you going to build next?